is it possible to break the glass ceiling with high heels in the energy sector? My answer is definitely yes. But why we should do that? Before answering this question, let me tell you four short stories. The first one is not my personal story. It is a story of a member of our association called Women in Energy Association. So let's start the story. Uh, there is a board member room and a big table around only male uh, members. Uh, actually, this picture was made more than 100 years ago, but the situation doesn't change a lot since that time. And in my story, in this boardroom, is only one seat empty. And this is the seat of the new member. Most of the people don't know who is the new member. And in this moment, a young blonde lady enters in the room. And one of the board members says, hey, darling, bring some coffee for us. And the lady stopped for a while. But after that, she turns back, brings some coffee, puts on the table, and right after then, she sits down. Of course, she was the new member of the board. It was a shocking moment for most of the male board members. The second story is uh, partly my personal story. I was the communication director of the largest Hungarian company, and I organized a trip for journalists for Iraq, Kurdistan. This country is a beautiful country with, uh, with a beautiful history, beautiful landscape, but the level of the security and the other circumstances are different than in Europe. And uh, then we visited the exploration and the production site of this company. And uh, on this site, I met this lady. The lady is a Hungarian lady, oil and gas engineer. And for me, it was also a little bit a surprise to find her in the middle of the desert among only male colleagues. But she told me that I am so happy because I realized my dream. I came here to work as an oil and gas engineer. So I was very proud on this lady to showing to the journalist that look, this lady, she can do what the men do, the same thing. The third story is actually related to my current job. My consulting company, uh, the Vice Paper Consulting, is organizing the leading energy conferences here in Central Eastern Europe. And when I started this job, I realized that it is so difficult to find female speakers for my conferences. Look at this stage. They are only men. And then I asked myself, I am not enough good to find female speakers, or they are real lack of women in the energy sector. And of course, there is a real lack of women in the energy sector. And the last story is, has no direct link to energy, but uh, this story has a link uh, to the stereotypes and, and to the negative perceptions. This summer, I uh, went to the yoga retreat. And most of the participants were women, of course, but there were also some men. And uh, you know, the yoga retreat is uh, not about to get to know each other. It is more an internal travel and an internal feelings. But sometimes you get in conversation with, uh, with the others. And I get in conversation with uh, one of the men, the participants. And uh, he told me that uh, his company is very successful. He, he made a lot of offices around uh, Europe. He told me about the budgeting process about many things, and in a certain moment, he turned to me and uh, asked me, but do you know what budget means? <laughs> and I stopped for a while. I was a little bit shocked. But after that, I answered very shortly, yes, I know what budget means. I didn't tell him that I was responsible for a budget of more billions of foreigns. And I didn't tell him that you are fully wrong. You have to de-bias your mind. Because maybe he's thinking that in the yoga retreat are only housewives. By the way, I think that housewives know exactly what budget means. <laughs> so they are only just few stories from the many stories. After that, I decided that I have to do something to increase the number of the women in the energy sector. In 2017, two, two years ago, 
I established with 10 other female colleagues the Women in Energy Association. It was not so easy to find 10 female leaders in the energy sector, but now we have more than 80 members from eight, seven countries, and I am very proud to announce that we launched our second uh, mentoring program for young ladies of the Women in Energy Association. And the, the main goal of this association is actually to increase the number of the women in the leading positions in the energy sector. But why is so important and how we should do that? They are to the two main questions. Uh, let's start with the first one. Why is it so important? I could tell you a lot of arguments, but I tell you only three. The first one. The energy companies and the energy consumption is responsible for 70% of the emission of the greenhouse gases. It means that the energy companies have a huge role and a very important role in the climate change. And the decisions made of these big energy companies have a huge impact of our common future. So these decisions have to be made together, men and women together. The second one. According to many, many um, researches, the companies who, are, who have a balanced leadership are more profitable, they are more effective, they are more successful. So at that point I ask all the leaders of the companies, why don't you take more women in the leading positions? And the third one. Do you know what Books Index or Dow Jones Indexes, maybe you heard about also Dow Jones Sustainability Index or different gender indexes. Those companies who are present on these indexes are more attractive for the investors. But why? Because it means that these companies are taking that kind of issues, gender equality, sustainability, as part of the culture of the company, as part of the value of the company, and as part of the whole strategy of the company. So, after all this argument, it is a question, really, why the leaders don't choose more women for the leading position? It is only a fault of the, of the top leaders or they are also other things. And I truly believe that they are also other things. They are also a lot of negative perceptions and they are a lot of unconscious bias. So it uh, means that we wanted to make some research about this topic to know exactly what are these reasons. So Women Energy Association, together with Boston Consulting Group, made a research about gender equality in the energy sector. And this report is focusing on Central Eastern Europe. More than 70 companies participated in this research and uh, more than 700 people uh, completed the surveys. And we made also some in-depth interviews as well. The following statements are coming from uh, this research. The first three from men. You cannot work in operations wearing a skirt, blues, and high heels. Or working in the energy sector requires male thinking. Women are not interested in, in energy. And the following are coming from women. It is not a female workplace. I, as a woman, have no chance to achieve high position. So it means that there are problems from both sides. So there are negative perceptions also by men and also by women. So now we arrived at the point on the second big question. How we can change somehow this kind of situation? I tell you three things. The first one, seeing is believing. So we have to make the visibility of the role models in the energy sector a little bit more. For example, if you look at on this picture, because there are still some women who are in a very high position. The first one is Andrea Bujdosho. She is the CEO of the Shell Hungary. The second one is Elena Burmistrova, the CEO of Gazprom Export. The third one is Ivana Ivancic. 
She is the board member of the largest uh, Croatian uh, gas company called PPD. In the second line, Anita Orban, she is the vice president of one of the largest American company called Tellurian. The next one is my former boss, Isabel Kosher, the CEO of uh, Engie for GDF Suez. And the last one is Magdolna Tokai, who is the deputy CEO of MVM Group in Hungary. So there are a lot of examples, just we have to show them. And the last picture, and the second uh, very important thing, is uh, that we have to promote the energy, the sector of energy, as an innovative, very modern sector, because it is. Roboting, artificial intelligence, blockchain, uh, very designed solar panels or icebreakers are all part of the energy sector. And if you look at on the other side, there is a village of Africa. More than half of the houses in Africa are not yet connected with electricity. So there are a lot of opportunities and also challenges in our sector. So now, after all this, uh, I have to ask you, can we close the gender gap and how we can do it? It is very difficult. And the last one, which is the most important thing, is that we have to change somehow the human mind. We have to change the culture which is a very, very long process. And all this, what I mentioned before, it is part of this. But the main question is, who is the game changer? And I think that you are the game changer. The young, new generation is the game changer. Why? Because you want to work a sustainable, modern, and social responsible company. And the companies, need your workforce. So they will do everything to fulfill your needs. At that moment, I would like to ask you something, and you have to promise me something. If you are in the leading position, you will go for a balanced leadership. Please raise your hands if you are agree with this. Thank you very much. Good to see. So I am now very happy because I see that we have a common and a better future. Thank you very much for your attention.